Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. In the last 12 to 24 hours, the Australian dollar continues to attempt to take on the upside as we can see the market keeps stabbing above 73 cents but doesn't sustain. The resistance at this stage is still maintained around 73 and a half. Although the RSI has getting a little bit carried away to the upside, as with the price, and the MACD is still lacking momentum. I still feel that with the overall picture, still expecting to see a down test, could eventually see the support line seen around 72.10 taken out. And if so, could look towards 71.30 as a potential target. As you can see here, this line is quite relatively firm. From given from that candle and now the market's just climbing and as you can see by the closes the market hasn't really staged any significant moves so let's see if the market can get a rejection into tonight and being tonight at 4 a.m is the FOMC or the Federal Reserve rate decision it is anticipated that the market will expectedly while well, widely expected to keep rates on hold it's more about what the statement says at 4 30 if Jerome Powell can actually give us a little bit of insight of what the central bank's thinking. This could in turn see the US dollar strengthen a little bit further. And as you can see, this trend line, if we take this back a little bit, a very, very strong trend line that was support, now resistance, and is seen around 119.25. We did get a brief test again overnight, but backed away very sharply. If we do see further risk to the downside, then I'm still looking at 117.50.55 as a support. If we can break this level, then it would give further emphasis on the bear case and towards the region of 116, possibly about 115 and a half. The MACD is negative and the RSI is nearly married up to the bear case. The call for dollar yen has slowly come through as yen strengthens. The market took a challenge further to the downside. And as you can see it, to this pattern, I anticipate further weakness towards the target of 104. We've got an ADX that's trending. We are a little bit oversold, but still married up and still supporting the bear case. So there's only about 100 to about 120 points left to the downside. And if you are trading to the bear case, continue to adjust your stop losses and take profit according to your risk management just in case we get a sharp rejection. As we've seen one from this level around 105.20 and we've seen one from 104, so do keep that in mind. The pound, well, after forming a base around 127.5, it's broken through that short-term trend and now looking towards 129. Not as strong from the technicals, but overall could still see a leg up towards 130.5, but not to sustain. If we do see a break of 127.5, then that gives, exposes the region of 125. Very whipsaw price action in sterling yen. Nevertheless, we've got an inverted hammer. I'm not a bear down here. I think the market could stage a short-term recovery, not a strong one, up to roughly around 137 to about 138. Nevertheless, with the yen strengthening and maybe the pound returning to a weaker case, would we'll see this cross drop further. And if we jump to the weeklies, you can see that the market potentially can look towards the region if we take out 135 down to about 132 as a target. Gold, well, didn't quite get above that level around 1,975 to 78. And back it away from that region, still at this stage could see the risk to the downside, but the case is whether it can close under $26. So at the moment, the parameters, although wide, 26 to 78. Never a lot of noise in between there. From a technical point, there is a bit of bullish divergence here. So I still say we could see, or we should not rule out, one more test up towards that 75, 78. But like previously, could see a rejection. Wrapping up with oil, well, the balls have come back a little bit sharper. All because of Hurricane Sally has given some uh, risk that uh, some production may be cut or stopped due to the uh, weather conditions, and therefore could see a little bit of an upstep in this pattern. I feel that from the rejection of that 36 and a half, we're looking at 39 to 41 as a potential target. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me, but please stay alert for tonight, if you can, at 4 a.m. for the FRMC rate decision. 
and then Jerome Powell statement and question time after around 4.30. So that wraps it for the day. Thank you very much.